All right, guys, we are back on the Madden 15 on the Xbox Xbox. You can see we got a blank lineup. We got a blank roster. You guys know what this means, baby. Time to build a new lineup. Let's do it. Now, by the title of the video, I'm sure you guys see this is an all-rookie lineup, all-rookie team. Now, this team, this lineup, I'm going to actually do a full season with this team. So that's one thing different about this squad builder than the rest of them. We're actually going to do a full season with this team. Try to make it to the playoffs. Try to get a Super Bowl win. I feel like it was only right to come back and do the all-rookie team. We tried it last year. And I, I, think, I think we caught some mean L's last year. So this year, I'm trying to bounce back, trying to get it right. Now, also, one thing about doing it this year is it's a lot easier to have an all rookie team this year. This wasn't in Mad last year, so I think we struggled completing the team. Had to get a little funky, screw up some combine warriors. This year, we shouldn't have to do that. But I think the majority of the team is going to be NFL draft players. I think we'll do it like that. I haven't played or posted too much gameplay with these guys. So we're going to build an NFL draft team. Let's do this. First up, the O-line. I will need to use some all rookie players for the O-line because there wasn't a left tackle, right tackle, right guard, left guard, and center drafted. So we'll use some all rookie players for the O-line. Okay, for now, this is the offensive line. Got my two rookies for right tackle. I think it's uh, Andrus Pete. I think that's his name. His card wasn't on the auction block, but I might circle back and get him throughout the season. But for now, quick look at the O-line. Not too shabby. 90 overall plus. That's all we need. Next up, we got the wide receiver positions. And let's see what everybody's looking like. Kevin White, 6'3", 98 freaking speed. 90, oh, 98 catching traffic. That's nasty. That's nasty, EA. I don't know why they did that. 6 3, 90. Oh my gosh. Those three stats right there to me make this card worth it. 85 route running. I don't care. Anybody can run a streak, baby, with 98 speed and 98 catching traffic. I gotta get him. I, I wasn't gonna get him. I was just peeping the card, but we gotta get him. That's a nasty combo. Who else do we have? I know Amari Cooper's probably nice too, huh? Should we get Cooper? We gotta get Cooper. It's only right Amari Cooper, I guess. I guess we will scoop him. All right, Amari Cooper, 57K96 overall. 6 97 speed, 100 catch and track. Why are these cards so loaded when it comes to catch and traffic? And this one can actually run some routes. So he'll probably be a good number two or three. We can scoop him up. Now, since this is a rookie team, I got to get one of the rookies from this year, man. Kelvin Benjamin and what's his face had big years. Kelvin Benjamin and uh, Mike Evans had huge years. So Benjamin, how much is Benjamin going for? 50K? That's not too much. 94 speed, 95 catching traffic, 6'5", though. That's nasty. Oh, man, look at this. This Mike Evans is cheap. This car used to go for 100K. I guess now it goes for a little or nothing. 6'5", 94 speed, 96 catching traffic, 86 route running. Oh, I guess. I guess we're going to rock up with Mike Evans, man. 25K. That's too cheap to pass up. Too cheap to pass up. All right, guys. This is the receiver card. Any other rookies you guys think I should pick up, let me know in the comments. Also, Kevin Benjamin already had one sitting in my reserve. So, ooh, this is this is a nasty receiver card right here. Now, guys, for these next two positions, I'm going to need you guys' help for halfback. Do we get Melvin Gordon or Ty Gurley? Quick look at Gordon's stats. 95 overall halfback. 6 to 95 speed. 89 truck. 97 carry, though. And 97 excel. Probably a great receiving back coming out of the backfield. And then Ty Gurley, 95 overall as well, 6'1", 95 speed, 97 truck, 95 carry, 96 XL, 93 elusive mission, 87 ball carry vision. In the comments or on Twitter, sound off. Let me know which one of these bad boys you guys think we should get. Now, if we got enough coins when I'm done with this squad, I might circle back and get both of them. But if we can only get one, let me know in the comments, and that's what we're going to rack up with for this season. Next up, quarterback, same deal, same scenario. Jameis Winston, number one overall pick, 97 overall, 6'4", 87 speed, 96 throw mid, 90 play action, 95 Throw deep. Do we pick up Jameis or do we pick up Mariota? I haven't even played with Mariota before. 96 overall, 94 speed. So fast, so elusive. 98, damn, 98 throw short, 90 throw deep. Ooh, I'm not sure how much I like that throw deep. 90 throw deep and 94 throw mid. Let me know, Jameis Winston or Mariota. Now, these guys, I'm not getting both of them. It's going to be one or the other. So, in the comments, on Twitter, sound off. Let me know which one you guys want to see. And that's who we'll rock out with. Now, guys, once we get a backfield, we're going to be done with the offense. Now, it's time to move on to the defense. Just like the offense, I guess we'll start by building out the trenches, get some defensive ends and some D-tackles. All right, for D-tackle, we got Armstead and Shelton. Which one's the fastest? Shelton's a big body. Oh, wow. 78 speed, 99 block shed. And Armstead, I think 78 speed too, right? 94 block. Oh, this is easy. This Shelton guy's huge. He's a freaking mammoth. That's an easy pickup. And then for D-Tackle, one guy that I've been praising all year, I got to get from the all-rookie team, is Jernigan. Jernigan had a crazy rookie campaign. Got to scoop him up. Great speed, too, at that D-Tackle position. And right, boom, Timmy Jernigan, 92 overall, 82 speed, 95 block shit, 94. Power move going for a cool 14K. That's all we need. Next up for left end, we're going to get Shane Ray. And this guy, kind of funny, man. Uh, right before the draft, I think he got caught with some weed or something like that. And some people thought his draft stock might fall. But the Broncos still took him in the first round, man. He could have been another D in that fell to the Cowboys. And the Cowboys, 
Cowboys would have had a crazy draft. But that's neither here nor there. Shane Ray, he's on the squad. For right in, picking up Leonard Williams. I believe this guy came out of USC, one of the best D linemen in the draft. Crazy, crazy stud. 86 speed, 99 strength, 95 tackle, 97 block shed, and 95 power move. Pretty solid stats. And all right, this is the D-line. Next up, we got the secondary and the linebacker core. Secondary simple. Gonna start things off with Byron Jones, best cornerback in the draft. Gonna scoop him up. Next up, Trey Wayne's 95 overall. This guy's stupid fast. 98 speed, 92 man, kind of low, but the way I see it, if he gets beat and man, maybe he'll have the speed to make up and get a tackle or catch up to the ball, even if he's beat. So we're gonna scoop him for a 65K. And right, this is the defense secondaries. Nasty, T. Waynes, Byron Jones, great athletes outside. Linebacker core, CJ Mosley, Fowler, Beasley. Yo, a lot of people have been telling me to get that Mosley from my main team for a minute now. So finally glad to have him on the rookie team. Beasley, Fowler, both stupid juice cards, tall outside linebackers, big boys, big bodies. And for free safety, man, honestly, it's not a good free safety all rookie or a good free safety draft card. And I was thinking we could get a little funky, put some twang in there, and scoop up some combine warriors for this team. But that could be cheating. I don't know. If you guys want to see them this year, let me know. Honestly, the only combine warriors I would pick up, though, would be the combine warrior Chris Johnson. I'd probably scoop him up. Then on defense, I'd probably get combine warrior safeties, right? So I'd probably rock out with Taylor Mays and Tyron Matthew. But so far, this this is the team. Comment, feedback, suggestions. Let me know in the comments. And once again, quarterback situation. Mariota or Winston. Let me know who we should rock out with. And for halfback, I guess we can circle back and scoop up Gurley and Gordon if we don't do the whole combo worry thing. So let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys think about the squad. And I'll probably have some gameplay out with this team very, very soon. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.